Hi everyone, today's tutorial is this crochet poncho. I was using two skeins and I needed a little bit third one for the edging. The measurements are from the neckline to the bottom approximately 30 inches and then from the side to the to the side right here it's approximately 20 inches This poncho is made from a two separate rectangles and we'll crochet two rectangles and I will walk you through how to connect them, how, how to crochet them together or sew them to, together into a poncho. For this poncho I'm using a I9 5.5 millimeters hook and my yarn is Lion brand mandala, and this is um, 590 yards, uh, 540 meters. It is 100% acrylic and it's lightweight. Three one skin has 150 grams, and this is color Griffin. And these are shades of um, blue, gray, brown, and some red. For this pattern, we'll need multiples of two. So I'll chain 116 plus one. We need multiples of two plus one additional chain. So I'll chain 116 plus one, so 117. Let's chain 117. Once I chain 117, skip two chains and double crochet into the third. Yarn over, insert into the chain, pull through two loops and pull through two and this is your double crochet and we'll go into each chain one double crochet. So continue with double crochet the entire row to the end. I finished my all double crochet first row. My second row I chain two. Turn the work and we'll work crossed double crochet. Entire row will insert into the third double crochet and make double crochet now yarn over and we'll come back from the front into the stitch we skipped and make another double crochet And we'll continue the entire row. We worked into this stitch. We'll skip one into the next. Make double crochet. Now we'll come back into the stitch we skipped. 
from behind yarn over and pull and make double crochet pull through two and pull through two one more time skip one we worked into this stitch skip this into the next and make double crochet now we'll come back into the stitch we skipped from the other side and double crochet again we worked into this skip that into the next make double crochet now we are on over go in front of the double crochet insert into that space and insert into the stitch yarn over pull and make double crochet continue like this to the end i'm finishing the row and have last three stitches and now i finish the row with double crochet into the very last stitch right here double crochet chain to turn your work and now we'll go with double crochet into that stitch into the crossed double crochet stitch the first one and then into the next stitch and we'll go with double crochet into each stitch across into each stitch one double crochet So continue with double crochet into each stitch. So we finished row three and we'll have to go with one additional row before the repeat starts. We chain three, turn the work. And we'll go with double crochet into the third double crochet one two three into the third one two and three third double crochet and make double crochet now chain one skip one and go into the next double crochet and make double crochet and repeat chain one skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip double crochet chain one skip double crochet into the next and continue like this and we'll finish the row with two double crochet now chain one skip double crochet fin to finish the row and these are the last few stitches of this row four And as I mentioned, we'll finish the row with 
two double crochet one double crochet and then one more into very last stitch so we'll have the same stitch count and now it will start the repeat the pattern repeats we'll go with double crochet cross double crochet stitch double crochet and again with those nice squares so let's start so chain two and again this is repeat and we'll go with double crochet into each stitch i skip that go into the second double crochet and make double crochet then double crochet into that chain stitch you can go into that space but i like for this pattern to go into that chain now into the double crochet stitch and then double crochet into a chain and continue like that And this is again this is a repeat next row will crochet crossed double crochet stitch and then double crochet and continue with that those squares and i'm finishing crocheting the first panel This is my last row and I finish with that mesh stitch where I double crochet, chain one, double crochet and now just fasten off and pull through and I repeated the pattern 10 times total 10 6 7 8 9 and 10 10 times so same way start crocheting the second panel with a chain and then double crochet stitches crossover stitch and a double crochet and that mesh stitch with double crochet and same way complete second panel so we'll have two panels together and now we'll connect them together into a poncho okay let's work connecting these panels together let's have them next to each other and this is the side where I started that I worked on a chain and started crocheting and this is also the chain and I started crocheting so I have this the starting point next, next to each other because this is my mesh that I finished and this is my mesh stitch that I finished working okay so we have them next to each other now twist i'm going to twist this one and this is the pattern that goes this way that i crochet that way now i take one and twist it just like this twist like this and now from my beginning i pin put have some pins here pin them and then crochet let's pin those this side so i pin them together like that and this is the wrong side pin them together and now we'll start from this side and crochet will connect them together so i have the pins right here 
Tik my yarn. This is one panel, this is another. And I start at the very bottom. Insert my hook. And start just connecting them. Inserting through two of them. And I'm holding these two panels together, side by side. Go with my stitch through two. continue just like this and this is from the a good side looks like that so i'm going with a brown because i have the brown alongside right here and this my this side this panel changes colors so if i go with brown it matches that side and will, you will not see the the yarn that i'm connecting so if you have different colors just connect with the one that is matches your your panel and color so continue like this to the end and i'm done with this side now fasten off and hide the ends another option is just simply to sew them together let's now work on the other side so we connect it right here now let's flip those two sides and um, let's bring the good side up okay so We flip those two. Now let's bring this top to the where that seam started. And that long panel, let's bring this way on top of that one like this and here we go this is our neck line and we connect those two together you can, can sew them together or you can crochet the same same way so this is my neckline i'm starting from my neckline and i'll pin those two sides together making sure my neckline is the same and I have seven and seven. There we go. Actually I have six and I have and the other side also six and I have. So you want to make sure your neckline matches and then pin those together, two sides and crochet and also them okay so the poncho is completed now we'll go ahead the last step 
um, will go ahead and crochet or double crochet all around so starting at any and uh, any corner i guess and then we'll crochet two double crochet into each um double crochet on this side and then um double crochet into each stitch on this side so on the edge we'll crochet two double crochet into each row into each double crochet row two double crochet and that's gonna be complete i'll start my working on my double crochet on one of the sides from one of the sides into that middle into this into that middle and then into this stitch and continue like this into the middle and this stitch I'm continuing working and I'm at the very corner right here this is stitch and now very very last stitch in this row and I'm again inserting into the same stitch so I have two and into the same stitch I have three three times into the same stitch now continue into that row two times Here we go. Now into the second next row two times. So into each row now I will crochet twice. Next row two double crochet. And crochet like this all around I went around with all double crochet stitches and now Pancho is complete guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe please share and like this tutorial please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in my next tutorial.